What's up guys, Craig here, and yes, this is a new channel, um, Craig VFX, that is where you're at. Uh, not very many subs, like 30 something right now, I just made this channel yesterday, but um, I did it basically to separate all my edits and, and other stuff from um, C4 Gaming, which where I was at with uh, Craig and Pound, but I don't know, it wasn't really working too well, I, I kind of want to just have my own for all my stuff. Um, before that, I had Craig Cinema which was nice, had a lot more subs, but the problem was that I was stupid and I disabled monetization, so kind of killed the channel to be honest. Um, so I'm starting over. Shouldn't be that hard to get my subs back. If you like my edits, please subscribe. I'll be posting them here. Um, also look out this week on Optic Nation. I have a trailer I made for uh, Optic Macau. It'll go up this week, the actual montage, July 5th. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Alright, so today what I'm going to do is bring you guys a tutorial on enhancing color corrections and anamorphic flares. Now these anamorphic flares are different because you might be like, well I've seen tutorials on those already, well these ones are different. I kind of made them. Uh, sorry about the phone. Alright, so to start off here, how I do my color corrections is in After Effects. That's how I was taught and that's how I like it. Um, I don't use um, magic bolt looks hardly ever. Sometimes I do for some of the features built in but I hardly ever use it. Um, okay so what I just did was I put a, a preset on a solid layer. It's just a giant light. All right, It'll go above the composition and it gives it a gradient. Thanks Hank for that. Alright now put down an adjustment layer and another one need to. Alright, so on your top one here we'll go your color correction, whatever you normally do, and on this one underneath it, what we're going to do is we're going to enhance it. Enhance. I think I spelled it wrong. Enhance. Alright. So, first thing we'll need to do is grab levels. Alright, and that'll go in your enhance. We're going to work on that layer first and basically how levels works is you have your input black white gamma input black obviously makes it darker this is like a curve see all right but on this very first levels that we have here we're going to make very tiny adjustments and then gradually as we add the other effects to this layer we'll get a little bit more uh we'll adjust a little bit further so input black just tiny adjustment just barely move it up at all and then gamma, just lighten it up just a little bit. I believe that's all I want to do with this. That looks pretty to where it wants to be. Might as well put another levels in here right now. And then in between those two levels, what we're going to do is put tint. Alright, so just drag it in between them. And now, yes, if you leave it at 100, it completely washes out everything. We don't want that. We want it in like 35. The thing is, okay, with Black Ops 2, if you completely take this layer off, Colors are, are pretty intense in most of the maps. Maybe not so much on this map, but some of the maps, just the colors are pretty intense. So a lot of the times, whenever I put my color corrections down, it just makes it look like overwhelming. So I, I need to use a lot of tin, black and white to wash out the colors and make them not so intense. So with this enhance, you can see what's happening. It kind of it kind of washes the colors out a little bit and it kind of brightens it up. Um, make make some of the darker areas pop. I guess you could say that. Now, what you want to do here is go to your last levels, levels 2, and we're going to make bigger adjustments here now. So now, what we want to do is bring this up here, I don't know, 25, 26-ish, alright? And now our input white, just barely bring this down at all. About, about like 46, 246, alright? And then our gamma, we're going to lift it up again just like we did in the other one. 1.12. Alright. And that should be that should be what we want. Okay, so with it, alright, so this is your light. Add your light. And now enhance. Uh, on. You can see how the, the darker areas pop and the lighter ones are a little bit more washed out. Alright, that's how it's enhancing it. It's really making them look good. Now, for your color correction, um, you know how to do this. You could do it with curves. 
Oh, I might just literally just use curves here. Who cares? This that's see see now that looks like it's too much, so you would take the opacity down on this. I don't know. I don't know. Um, or you could just drop I have presets. So how about I just take a preset? Odd CC. I wonder how intense that is. Oh, it's not that bad. See, it looks pretty cool. It's a little bit. It's like a purpley one that we have. Um, the tint for that color correction is a little bit more purple. And then it has a sharpen on it because that that helps a lot. And then the curve adjustments. They're all jacked up. Okay. So if that's too much, and we can test that just by looking. And I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I think it looks fine. Um, if it was too much with all of it, oh, well, it was already knocked down. Okay, so if it's at full, it's way too much. It looks like shit. So yeah, you would knock it down to like 50 something. Test it. Just move it up. All right, that's where you get your purpley, and then knock it down. Around 70 is pretty cool. All right. So that's pretty cool. It shows this purple and blue in that line. Looks nice. All right. Now, what I'm going to show you how to do is make these um, anamorphic flares. Now, what you want to do is make a, another adjustment layer. I wish I could fucking click it there. Okay, and we'll call these flares. Now, I don't normally like these on cinematic shots, but fuck it. All right, I already have a preset, preset made, so I'm just going to bring it up and show you. So it'll be real quick. Anamorphic flares, crag made. All right, awesome. Completely turn your screen to black and we'll leave it like that. All right, you see this little tiny yellow line? That would be the flare. Um, the problem with this is this way too high. Bring that down to like 180 something. We'll get some of the we'll come back. Oh my gosh, that's too many. All right, well you can see what it's looking like here. Put that on 200. to 30 something okay cool like that and then fast blur underneath it we'll just show you how I do this alright so first is a threshold and you only want a little bit of the light area showing then you're gonna blur them alright you see that and you put it on horizontal and you'll start making them come across and you'll be like okay so I can even start seeing where they're coming from alright and then the trick here is smart blur alright Smart Blur lets you pick edges. All right, you have the option of this drop down to pick edge only. And that's what you do. Pick edge only, and I have the radius at 21 and the threshold at 25. That way, it gives you these straight lines, and they look really shitty. You can't just let those lines go. You gotta soften them up. So, next thing I add would be Channel Blur, and that lets you pull apart the different colors: the red, green, blue of this all right so I have them at 100 100 and 400 um, for the colors and that gives you a yellow center with a blue outside now that's cool so that means if you like that you can get these multicolored flares and you can pick them just by adjusting your reds greens and blues um, which is pretty cool and remember put it on horizontal um, and then finally blur it again we'll soften them up a little bit See how it softens them up, so they'll blend in a little bit better. It's only on three, and uh, the bl the blur is actually on horizontal and vertical. Otherwise, it keeps them pretty sharp, and you want that. Now, in order to blend this in with the color correction, what you do is you toggle these switches to the blend mode, and put it on screen. All right. So now, let me see if I can find an area where they show up. All right, you can see these flares shooting off things. Say you want these flares to be like pinkish purple color maybe to go with this. And so they only they only show where the light is basically. Alright, so say we want them to be pink pink and purple. How about how about solid color? So first thing you want to do is tint. And that'll take all this shit and make it just pure white. So if you put this back on normal mode, you'll see. Now these things are just white. I'm gonna these a little bit less and or a little bit more showing okay there 222 is where I have the threshold at for that 
All right, so now you have that. And now, to make these any color you want, just go to Hue and Saturation. Put that on, and then hit Colorize. Little check mark down here. And then if you go into the negatives, you start getting into the pink. All right, I'm going for like the purplish, the darker purple, here we go. That's pretty cool. And then you can pick the saturation amount. That's probably too much, but we'll test it. Yer. It is too much, but you see them. They're pretty cool. Um, I don't really like them on the clip or on the cinematic. I prefer having them on the clip, and I like to knock them down a lot to where they're barely. They're not overwhelming. That's the idea. Don't make this overwhelming. That kills the whole effect. But what's nice about these compared to the other anamorphic flares you may have seen before is they're real thin and uh, they're not like taking up the entire sky. So say this sky right here, it wouldn't be like one giant freaking rainbow flare or something. Now they're nice and tiny small ones. And you combine them and make them like that rainbow pattern. Zombie had a, uh, Obey Zombie had a nice tutorial on how to make anamorphic flares that show like the whole spectrum. And you can do that same effect onto these tinier ones and I think it looks a lot cleaner but yeah so this has been my first tutorial ever hopefully it was easy to follow um, I'll probably be posting another one next week maybe sooner I don't know depends on how this one goes I don't have very many subs so hopefully this is helpful to whoever does see it um, and until my next video which will probably be the trailer I did for Optic Macau, I'll probably upload that here sometime at the end of the week, maybe beginning of next week, and then another tutorial. Um, post any tutorial requests in the comment section, and I'll talk to you guys next time.